What's up people, Doc4 here. Almost time for double XP weekend, but not yet. So I just want to show you something I've been doing very, very often, almost every day, if I remember. I managed to get a Brawling Gloves Hunter from a rare drop table off Abyssal Demons Slayer Task. So uh, currently they're on 70 charge, so... And I'm going to show you what I do with Yakide. That's cool, I'll take that. Thank you. <laughs> Okay, so we're going to head over to Edville, because if you don't know what a Brawling Glove does, it gives you 300% bonus XP if you train in the wilderness. And with the introduction of Divine Locations, this is like incredibly easy to do. Because normally if you had a Hunter Brawling Glove, you would, I guess you would want to do Black Salamanders. <laughs> that's probably the only Hunter thing in the wilderness. So that's pretty useless and it would take a long time. But instead, every day, you can just come up here, pull the lever, we'll get teleported right into the wilderness. Wait, no, there's a guy there. We don't want to be doing wilderness stuff with people knowing we're up there. That's why we got to keep hopping until... until no one knows we're up here. This looks pretty safe, just wait a second, see how it is. Because we wouldn't want to lose the brawling gloves. Because some dickhead's going to come along and kill me for nothing. So we're going to pull the lever. Hope we don't get killed. Teleport up into 56 wildy, 51 wildy actually. And then all we have to do is throw this down. And look at these XP drops. Damn, son. There's also a 4k XP drop, which I'm hoping I'm going to get. I've been getting pretty shit ones right now. There it is, 4.4k. So good. I'm pretty much only going to do this to train to... 90 Hunter for the Prif task. Well, I'll do this as long as I even have the Brawling Gloves. Like, you use 10 charges every time you... 10% charge every time you do this. So it'll work for 10 days. Alright, so here's something interesting. I've gone from level 95 prayer to 96 with just bone crusher and urns. <laughs> Pretty hectic. That's like 1.2 mil XP or something like that. Oh, it's a bit, a bit less than 1 mil. OP. Useless, but cool. So double XP started, and um, every now and then I miss a clip, like I, I forget to record it. But I have the screenshots, so it's just going to be like a mix of screenshots and clips, and I'm, some of them I'm going to be commentating over, but oh well, here it is. So we started with 97 summoning. Apparently I miscalculated, I'm not getting 99 this weekend, but after the weekend I'm probably going to go and just do yaks until I'm 99. It won't, it doesn't cost much, and it doesn't, won't take much time. I'll probably get 99 Slayer through that anyway. So I've been doing some crafting, finishing off my protein planks. We're almost done. And that was the final one. It didn't get me to the level I was hoping for, or at least just any level. But it's good enough. Although after finishing my planks, I went and did a Warbands run and missed getting 87 construction. I didn't even know I was going to get it. So I decided to go with Adamant Bars instead of Gold Ore. Because Gold Ore is just slow as hell. And I wanted to get this over and done with. So we're going we're gonna to level right now. And that should be enough to get us to... 86, which we need for a task, I believe. Currently doing cooking. Gonna get to level 90 pretty soon. I think it'll be this inventory. Been using these portable ranges that have been... that everyone's just spamming out. Apparently people have millions of these portables. Just come here and then get some portables in, man. Here it is. Boom. Level 90. So I then went ahead and started my long climb to 92 fire making. And here you'll see I get 83. And I can do curly roots, which is apparently a good thing to do. Probably won't be doing it though. Um, at this point I think I swapped to, do to doing magics and 
U logs, which is a lot faster, and I also got to 84 here. That's nice. Not unlocking anything at that level, though. Then after that, I also did a maple um, challenge. I had to do 320 ma um, not maple magic logs, and that managed to get me to 85 fire making, and I missed it because I didn't even know I was going to get it once again. Here's level 86, and it's interesting to see the time lapse, because you get a little clock down the corner now, so you can actually see how long it's taken me to do these. Here's 87, I believe, yep. And I, I can definitely tell that between these levels, the time is definitely getting longer. Like, it started at like 40 minutes, and now it's up to like an hour and like two hours. Here's 88. Can't really do anything at that level. Still working on it. So here's 89. Nearly there. Getting close. And 90. Elder Logs. That's useful. If I want to spend a shit ton of money. So that marks the end of day one, plus a little bit at the start of double XP. Uh, I've got uh, quite a few levels actually. I'm nearly done with fire making, and then I'm going to move on to thieving, which is going to be a bitch, but we're going to work through it. Battle through. I'll see you guys for day two. Duck Horror out. Wait a second. What is that?